Bob Schieffer is our chief Washington correspondent and anchor of Face the Nation. Jeff Greenfield, our senior political correspondent. Before we talk about the Senate and what's going on there, gentlemen, let's talk about what's happened in the House of Representatives. A major victory for Republicans tonight. And the question is not will they get, regain control, but by how many seats will they regain control, Bob? Well, I mean, you know, uh, the Republicans said from the beginning this was not an election about them. It was a referendum on Barack Obama, and it turns out they're probably right. I mean, the voters that went to the polls tonight sent a message to Barack Obama. Uh, most of the people who voted tonight uh, voted and said they did not approve of Barack Obama. Most of the people who voted tonight overwhelmingly said the economy was the big problem. This was not just a referendum of Barack Obama. It was really kind of a, a, a reputing Barack Obama when you come right down to it. He said he was going to change things, and he didn't. Whether he could have or not, that's another question. But I think that's what people held against him, Katie. M meanwhile, Jeff, when you take a look at the profile of voters who have turned out today, the coalition that he so successfully gathered together in 2008 has been framed significantly. No question. Uh, women that went overwhelmingly for Obama in 2008 are splitting their votes evenly, and since men are going heavily Republican, that tells you where the majority is. Independents that went for Obama by 18 points two years ago, they're going heavily for Republicans now. And the dissatisfaction with the economy and the performance of government in the hands of Democrats for the last two years, I think is the key to this whole night and certainly why the Republicans are going to be holding the House. Meanwhile, in the Senate, they've got to run the table because, as we mentioned, the Democrats were able to hold on to Chris Dodd's seat in Connecticut, also that very important West Virginia seat, which was neck and neck with a popular governor, Joe, Joe Manchin, running against businessman John <clears throat> Racy, but they held on there. So now with the seats that are left, they've got to get them all, don't they? They do. I mean, uh, holding West Virginia and holding Connecticut for the Democrats may produce what little good news the Democrats have tonight, and that is it's going to be very difficult now for Republicans to take control of the Senate. It looks like now, they haven't done it yet, but it looks like Democrats will hold on to control of the Senate. It'd be hard for Republicans to do it now. So not much good news for Democrats tonight, but maybe that's a little good Because news. significant inroads in the Senate, whether they take control oh, or yeah. not, making it harder to get that filibuster-proof 60-vote majority for the Democrats and putting Barack Obama's agenda at serious risk. That 60, vote, that 60 votes is now going to be down to 51 or 52. You need 60 votes to pass everything except congratulations to George Washington. And, and I don't know how they get anything through the Senate, even with this thin majority.